Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today, we're showing you how I build a hydraulic forging press. Let's get right into it. So to build this hydraulic forging press, we're gonna need some big pieces of steel, some big pieces of tubing because of the forces of the hydraulic pressure. Now, just as a disclaimer, if you don't have certification to weld something that thick, or experience or even equipment, I wouldn't recommend doing this project on your own. You could build the parts and then bring it to someone for someone that knew, knows how to weld properly to weld it all together. Because if it's not welded with the proper penetration, it could break apart under load. So we never want that to happen, especially with hydraulic pressure we're dealing with seven to 15 tons of pressure in one point, it can rip off welds very easily if they're not done properly. So to start our build, let's do a sketch of the overall uh, height and the components that we're gonna need to make to make this forging press. So now we have an overall view of how our press is gonna look like. We have our hydraulic cylinder, we have a mount that our hydraulic cylinder is gonna be onto, we have some bearing supports, they're gonna be riding on two rails on either side, and then we're gonna have a base plate that is going to be made out of three inch by two and a half inch uh, solid, uh, solid steel, and we're gonna weld that weld the support underneath and we're gonna weld some legs to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this arm that holds the hydraulic cylinder on top of the tube. So the tube itself is six by six with three eighths wall um, structural steel tube. And we're gonna notch out so this bar fits across both sides so we can weld inside, outside and both sides of that bar itself. It's gonna be made out of a piece of one inch by two and a half inch by 12 inches long. And we're gonna drill a hole through it so we can put the pin to hold the top of the hydraulic cylinder. So let's make that top piece and we'll notch out the tube and then we can get on to the next part. Now we're gonna have the two bearing supports for either side of the tube, and they're gonna support a bearing that is one inch ID by two inch outer diameter, and we're gonna make some little bushings to hold those onto the bearing support. The bearing support itself is gonna be made out of three quarter inch by inch and a half by 10 inch piece, uh, two pieces of solid steel bar. We're gonna drill out some holes for the mounts, and we're gonna drill out holes for and counter bores for the bearings to be held in there also. So let's do a quick sketch and let's start machining it. Now for the bearing guide support, we're starting off with a big piece of material. 
three inch by two and a half inch solid bar by nine inches long. We're gonna square it up on the milling machine. We're gonna drill and bore a hole for the hydraulic cylinder. And then we're gonna tap a hole, half inch 13, and that half inch 13 is gonna go into the bore and it's gonna hold our cylinder in place. We're also gonna drill and tap side holes that are gonna hold the actual bearing uh, holders on the side. And then we're gonna drill and tap a couple of holes on the bottom that's gonna help us with holding different types of dies and plates underneath. So let's get into machining it. Now for the base of the actual hydraulic cylinder, all we're gonna do is we're gonna get a piece of block uh, steel, again, three inch by two and a half inch. We're gonna square it up, square up the sides, and then we're gonna drill and tap two half inch 13 holes, just like we did with the top plate. And this is, again, for mounting different types of dies on the bottom of it. This just needs to be squared up so when it fits on the tube, we can weld it square to the tube itself. Let's get into machining that. Now we have all our major parts that make up the hydraulic forge press. Let's do a run through of all the parts that we have. There's a couple more like the rails. We just machined one side of them, the bottom support, basically just squared it off. And then the legs and other things like that, we'll get to um, as we start welding and putting it all together. And then we have our rails, which are inch and a half bar, three quarter inch thick and 16 inches long. And I machine one side, so when I put them down, they'll be nice and square. I have four socket head cap screws with uh, lock washers and they're going to be the ones that are going to hold my bearings in place. I have these four bearings with an, a one inch ID and two inch OD and they're just a utility bearing. And then we made some bushings that, they, that are going to hold the bearing in place onto our bearing housing and they're just made out of mild steel and they fit into the bearing into the bore and then the socket head cap screw fits inside here and lines the both of them up and basically it's spacing it away from the uh, bearing so the bearing doesn't rub on the actual bearing holder here's the the part that holds the bearing and the bearing onto the main head, which is attached to the hydraulic cylinder. The stationary part of the press, it's made out of a two and a half inch by three inch solid bar of mild steel, six inches long. And I have two screw holes that I made that are quarter 13, uh, sorry, half inch 13 threads. And they're gonna hold my die. And that's going to be mounted somewhere around here and we're going to weld this to the main tube and then this is going to be our support underneath that and this will be welded to this and to the main tube and it's four inches by one inch by 18 inches long uh, flat bar steel next we have our main um, that's gonna hold our bearings, our support, and it's gonna be mounted to the cylinder itself. It has a screw hole, so it mounts the onto the hydraulic cylinder, and then has two screw holes on the sides that are gonna hold these 
guides with the bearings on it. And this is gonna go directly onto the cylinder. Now for the legs, I cut some inch and a half by three quarter solid bar, 16 inches long. And I'm gonna weld on these three quarter inch bolts on the end. And that's what's gonna be used for my adjustment. So let's weld these on. Now we have it all welded up. Let's stand it up and we're gonna make a couple of extra brackets. One bracket on the right hand side that's gonna hold my hydraulic valve. And on to the left, we're gonna make some little brackets that are gonna hold the actual plates, the mounting plates for the dies. We'll make a bunch up and we'll have them stored on the left hand side on those mounting plates. So you can see it's all together. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna light up the forge. We have some inch and a half by three quarter inch solid steel and we'll heat it up and we'll see how this thing works. Thanks again, everyone, for watching Bonifab Custom as we built the hydraulic forging, forging press. If you have any questions or um, you want to know something specific about it, just ask me in the questions below. You can also reach us uh, through Instagram and TikTok. Uh, you can direct message there also. 
Thanks again for all your support and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week with another project.